This is the RGB button. Um, it is a NK case uh, push button with a RGB LED inside of it. Um, I'll go over the um, some of the parts here. It's got an RGB LED with these four pins here. We have a common anode and the red, uh, green, and blue are uh, connected to these resistors to get the proper current and voltage. Um, the actual push button is connected to these digital pins over here. Um, and I also have a, a reset button uh, pressed or, or hooked up so I can reset it from the board instead of taking off the shield. Um, that resets the game. Um, so I'll show you the gameplay. Um, this is also doesn't really need to be an Arduino Mega, but it's what I had. Um, so this is the game. Uh, when you reset it, it does a little intro, RGB, RGB, and then it shows you a color. It's kind of like a light green, greenish blue. And then you hold the button till it gets to that color. Ooh, yeah. And if you uh, if you get it right on, or, or pretty close, there's a very tight margin, it blinks the green like that. If you get it close, it blinks blue real quick like that. And if you get it very wrong, like this red, it blinks uh, a bright, angry red kind of look. Um, there's another feature um, as well. When you uh, um, don't touch it uh, after you hit reset, it'll time out and go into a little demo mode um, just to show off the, the, um, the button. And then you can press and, and cycle through the colors, but it's kind of hard to play the game if you didn't notice the, the initial color. Um, it's a nice little button. I, I thought um, there's a demo. I figured something like this existed. I found it on Mouser. Um, it was 18 bucks. Um, it was a fun little project. This is uh, purely development based on the components.